What up, what up, what up, my people? How are you doing? I am Mr. Bennett. For those of you who don't know me, I am Mr. Bennett. And I will be going through a grade six worksheet. As you can see, the topic is simple proportions. Now, as usual, I want you guys to go ahead and try the questions. If you don't understand any at all, let me just explain what is happening. All right, basically, we are given basically a fraction and we're supposed to find an equivalent fraction. So even though the numbers may be bigger or smaller, in value, they should be the same. That's what equivalent means. They should be the same. All right, guys, if you're watching this video, um, you please just like it. But uh, my student explained to me why it's important for people to like the video. And I, I never really take it serious. And because to me, I'm saying, you know, if you like the video, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. That's it. But the students explain to me and say, sir, no, that's not how it works. Whenever somebody likes the video, what happens, YouTube recommends it to other persons of interest. So if you're interested in math, YouTube will go and show them the video and their um, thing. And I was saying, okay, cool, that makes sense now. Because I was always wondering why people always say, like the video, like, I mean, I say, no matter if you like it, then just like it. If you don't like it, then just don't like it. But it's rather important when you like the video, you're actually promoting the work. So if you like the video, just like it. And if you're here and you're not yet subscribed and you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. All right. So this is what I normally tell my students. This can be very difficult, but it is very simple. Even at the high school level, some students struggle with equivalent fractions. So this is a simple way that I, and I have it on my channel already, however, I still want to go through the worksheet because I don't care about those old videos. I want to continue working, you know? All right. So what I normally tell the students, we look at what we are given, right? So we are given this fraction, or we are given these two. So this six is equal to 18. This is how we can approach it. You can just say six X is equal to 18. That's what we wanna find out. We wanna find out the common number between both of them, right? So we can just divide by six. Everybody can do equations, right? What number you multiply six by to give you 18? And that will be three. So what they're basically saying, we, we left from 18 to six. So we basically divide by three. We divide 18 by three and it gives us six. So what we can do is simply, we must divide 15 by the same number, which is three. So if you're going from biggest to smaller, not biggest, bigger to smaller, we divide. So 18 divided by 60 was three. So we divide 15 by three, and that would give us five. Another way you can look at it, if we should break down this fraction to its lowest term, right? What would be the fraction? Right, break down this to its lowest term. So let us do it that from that approach. What number can go into 15 and 18 with the remainder, right? That is the three. Three into 15 goes five times. And three into 18 goes six times. So there we have it. This is equivalent to five over six. Similarly, we can do it the same thing right here. We can break down 16 over 24 to its lowest term. All right, let us divide by two first for persons who are not mathematically inclined. We can divide by two again. Eight divided by two give us four. I'm just doing it a long way just for show people. So we have four over six, and then we divide by two again. We divide six by two, we get three. So right away, we see that it is two thirds. Or we could have said, what number we multiply it for the faster persons? What number we divide 24 by and it give us three, right? 
So we divide and 24 by a number and it gives us three. What number is that? We divide by eight. So you have to know your timetable, right? So if 24 divided by eight gives us three, so we can divide 16 by two. So 16 divided by eight rather gives us two. So that's two turn. All right, so, so far so good. Let's just look at number three. Remember guys, go ahead and try. I'm gonna go very slow so you can try it before me. It's very important in mathematics to try the questions. Without trying the questions, you're not progressing. You cannot look at math and learn it like that. You have to try, all right? So go ahead and try. All right, so we have three over five. And as you can see, we are going from small to big. As this is saying, 5x equal 15. Or you can say, what number you multiply 5 by to be the 15? And that would be 3, right? So x is equal to 3. So we're going to multiply 3 times 3. So we multiply this by 3. Anything we do to 1 is like an equation. Anything we do to 1 is equal to 1. And 3, 3 is 9. So we're gonna go a little bit faster now. It's very simple. I take I take time I took the time out to explain all that. Anywhere you choose, you can do it. All right. Any one of these methods, or if you have a better method, you can put it in the comment section. I mean it is not the claimer of knowledge. All right. I don't know everything. Everything is a learning process for me, also. All right. All right, so this one, number four, we'll get from 12 to six, and here we can see that we divide by two. So 12 divided by two, give us six. We'll do the same thing for this one, divide by two, and that gives us one. I can break it down, 22, one, 20, 12, six, all right? All right, so we left from 20 to five, so what we we have divided by is what? What we divide 20 by give us five. That would be four. So we do the same thing for this one. We divide by four. 16 divided by four is four, all right? This one is very simple. A half, everyone knows that a half, right? We multiply by what? I want you guys to just get the principle. So if the numbers can only change, but the principle remains. I multiply by four, and that is four over eight. And that makes sense. A half is equivalent to four over eight, all right? Let me see if this is the final column. No, we have two more columns. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to be doing this from seven, eight, and nine. And you guys are gonna leave this in the comment section. So for my students, my PEP students, who will be doing this next week, Saturday, Saturday coming, you guys can go ahead, you can send me these. You know, because I told the students at the PEP level also. Yes, yeah, so they will be doing this as their assignments. So you're gonna give me this Saturday coming September. Don't go remember September something 2021. All right, let's go. So we get from 18, from 16 to 8. So we would have divided by two. So we do the same thing for this. 10 divided by two gives us five. Should I deliberately get one wrong? You know to see if you guys are um, watching carefully all right so we get from eight to two what number we multiply two by to give us eight and that is four you can look on it this way also you know so we multiply two times four right so two fours so what number you multiply four by to give you four and that would be one all right anyway look at it guys just remember that when you break it down to its lowest term, you must get back this because they are equivalent. 
an equivalent fraction mean they are the same value. So the numbers might be larger, but the same value. A half is a half. A half a bulla is a half a bulla. All right? And a half of two bulla is one bulla, and so on. It's, it's just a half. All right, let's proceed again. So we left from 12 to 4. What we divide 12 by to give us 4, and that will be 3. So we do the same thing for 9. We divide 9 by 3. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3. So what it means, 3 quarters is the same as 9 over 12. All right. So guys, for your homework, my PEP students, I'm so blessed to have so many students. I'm really grateful. You're gonna do this as your assignment. One over three is the same thing as three over what? And that, and that, and that. These, these are rather simple. I don't know why they have to be so simple. But go ahead and do that, guys. Thanks for watching this video. So I really appreciate all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not done so. Mr. Bennett, appreciate you all. Come out, no doubt.